Hey guys, Rashad here from rbsingerlessons.com. All right, I'm going to check out Dimash singing SOS a cappella. I love a cappella. I love when it's just a raw voice, no instruments. It'd be cool to hear. Let's go. <laughs> That's right. that he has an orchestra behind him and he's singing a cappella there. changing my cables around because of this camera issue let me get this right I got to get this right bang I'm back yes at least it's not no oh. still playing up stop playing stop playing keep it moving stop playing keep it moving stop playing keep it moving keep it moving 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 all right Hopefully, I'm back and I'm not going to all over the place. Okay, sorry for that, guys. I'm not sure what's going on. Having some technical issues here lately. Where did I get it? Yeah, Goosebump was on this phrase. Oof. That A sharp, so beautiful. Wow, he goes from that beautiful, sweet thing into the loud one. Yeah, really soft there, sweet. 
F. And then it goes, slides up into the G sharp and then the A sharp. So it goes F, really soft, beautiful. And then G sharp, A sharp, slide and hold. With a lot of volume and power. Really nice. And vibrato. It starts really loud too. My piano is like, the way it's aligned is a bit funny. So it's hard to play the notes consecutively one after the other because like I have to go to the other row. So it's D sharp F. So it's like D sharp F, D sharp F. Then drops to C sharp. It's beautiful falsetto phrase. Oof. Nice. He switches like back into chest earlier. There. When he gets to C sharp, so it's like D sharp. C sharp F, C sharp in chest. Yeah, really nice. Stunning, man. <clears throat> that was nice. Oh, really nice. Look at that zoom. <laughs> really nice for Barty. that volume swell really nice he went down and back up and while maintaining his even vibrato stunning that's a stunning vibrato man oh that volume beautiful he did it with his voice so he didn't pull the mic or mic away he changed his volume with his voice beautiful on the F F five. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, he's doing it with his hand. He has he has powers. Sorry, he has magic magical powers, controlling the volume with his hand. <laughs> E, slide up to F. E, F. Straight turn. Vibrato ending. Epic, bruh. Perfect. The other phrase before, he, his notes weren't as perfect, the same melody, the time he did it before. It was like not quite as like right on the notes on, as he was going up because it's like an eight note or something ascending. But that time was absolute like auto-tuned perfection, but better because it's not auto-tuned. 
Listen how perfect it is. Is that sure first? Perfect. See how perfect every note was? Wow. Really, really perfect. It's just showing you like <clears throat> when when it's raw, you know, and there's no instrumentation either. You have to make it completely from your mind. And it's a very hard phrase and he just did it really, really perfect. It's so nice, wow! And just you can see the difference, like when a singer sings the same thing. Sometimes they make a little error, and then when they do it better, like you hear the difference. How singing is just all about pitch accuracy. You know what I mean? So it's awesome to hear someone raw to hear those differences. You know, sometimes you think they're superhuman and they never make a mistake, but they do. And the reason they're so good is because they usually practice a lot on staying as accurate as they can and as much as you practice you still sometimes fumble you know no one is absolutely perfect my favorite singers I love to watch them live because I love to hear the differences in when when they're times when they're perfect and times when they're not absolutely perfect and it can be within the same performance and going to like live venues as well like karaoke for 10 years I got to see these singers that I knew that were incredible and sometimes they weren't as incredible even though I know what they're capable of but you can hear the differences. So it's really cool to see people live really raw, you know, just like this is super raw. Well, he's got a mic, so it's like there's one level of not raw, but but you can tell he's singing. There's no effect on this, maybe other than reverb, possibly. But um, it's really, really cool to watch people raw, like live. And if, if it's possible, no mic. And then if it's possible, no mic and in person. That's the best, best way I've experienced when you see them. Uh, it's not to check like what they, it's not to check like to judge them as in, oh, you can't do this raw or not. It's just to see how it sounds compared to maybe yourself or compared to other singers that you know. It's just cool to see them in different settings and hear what they sound like. Beautiful. What a high voice. C6. Nice. He's got ultimate volume control the entire time on every note within his range. It's a really, really cool. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed my little uh, uh, ranty analysis there in the, in the end, um, as well as just my general reaction analysis. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.